Welcome to the 1940s, the war years, and a decade that left an indelible mark on us all. The profound effects of each chapter of the war touched virtually every part of the world. Over six years, more than 60 million lives were lost, making World War II the deadliest conflict in history, culminating in the devastating atomic bombs dropped on Japan. After the war, it was a time of transformation, progressive decolonization, and post-war economic expansion. From jet aircraft and new vaccines to Tupperware frisbees and the bikini, the decade saw many changes that would further shape our modern world. Despite the war, the 1940s was a time of growth and adventure for St. John's under the unwavering guidance of a particularly strong and determined woman, our headmistress for these years. Sister in charge, Mary Richmill, was an important, insightful, fearless leader said to enrich the lives of the girls with her knowledge and amazing Irish sense of humour. In 1947, our school turned 50 and had expanded to include new classrooms, kitchens and boarding facilities. But sadly, in 1949, we then lost one of the school's key figures, former chaplain Father Elston, who contributed so much to our school, helping to design our chapel and suggesting the Cape Dutch look of the school. Over this decade, the sisters allowed the girls more freedoms. During the war, it was apparent the soldiers at the front would appreciate receiving letters, and so the girls were encouraged to write freely, even granted the privilege of sealing their letters. In keeping with these freedoms and with the introduction of the bikini elsewhere in the world, St. John's girls were also soon entitled to wear these at school as well. St. John's also saw a uniform change in the 40s, as the thick wool used for stockings was no longer available during the war. Everyone was over the moon with their new light summer uniforms. Our iconic yellow dresses were born.